calling the meeting of April 3rd, 2023 to order with Dakota uh, Richards and Greg Leonard in attendance. Today is an April 3rd. Well, that's so she put it's there. It's the 18th. Okay, okay, Michelle, okay if I change it to the 18th? That's the minutes. That's no, minutes. This, is, this is the agenda. Oh, sorry. <laughs> And Bill is here remotely. Is that your phone? Yes. Oh, I'm impressed. Whoa. Hi, Bill. You didn't know I could do that, did you? Yeah. You never would have guessed it. No. And I wouldn't have done it unless he asked. Because he actually tried calling in there, and that wasn't working real well. So we have minutes somewhere around here. You ready for this? How many minutes have we got? We have three sets of minutes. That fancy line. Oh, I mean, he's showing up. You have way too much time to be playing. Oh, yeah. This stuff. Yeah. Well, I got to spend last night, along with other things, writing your minutes. <laughs> Bill, you want these? Okay, we have a set of minutes for March 20th. These weren't sent to him. Right. Just so you know. um, the bills payable does now, uh, yeah. for March 20th did not have the total amount in there. It didn't have any. We didn't have any? Oh, okay. None. I'll entertain a motion to accept the minutes of March 20th, 2023. I second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Approved. Two to nothing. Uh, what did you say the date was? 18th. Are you signing for me? No, I'm keeping this in my records. <laughs> I would never presume to do that. Now we're approving the minutes of the April 3rd meeting. I make a motion that we accept the minutes of April 3rd, 2023. I second. All those in favor? <coughs> Aye. Now we have to approve the minutes of the executive meeting for April 3rd, 2023, where we acted on three pieces of property Four, actually. Um, I approve, I make a motion that we accept the minutes, the executive minutes of April 3rd. I second. All those in favor? Aye. There you are. Now we have signatures, senior exemption application. Yeah, we only have one. This is good. Russell Lamorter, I recognize that name. The Leather Road? Yep. Ooh. You want to toss these? And we're exempting that $180, $95. signing the collector's list of real estate exemptions for the month of April. <clears throat> and the amount of? $28,980.63. Boy, that's a horrible signature. That's it. Collectors list and accounts list 
of real estate abatements. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them that we approved. I think that's all of them, right? No. no? Was there nine? There's a few more. We have three pending. Motor vehicle and excise for the month of April in the amount of $101 and some change. All right, keep going. I'll be right back. i got to turn my charger on. <laughs> Unprepared for the meeting. His turn. Why not? His charger. I've never no. heard of that term. <laughs> Sam, don't fall asleep over there. Sam, this is exciting stuff. I can't imagine what you were watching instead, like maybe a baseball game. We are assigning bills payable for mapping, primarily. Yes. How is the uh, <clears throat> new system working? The she likes it. to the um, collector's office. It's good, but it's backwards from the way you would normally think of it. I am not surprised. Yeah, a little weird. But it's a lot easier. I have to send down here too. Yeah. It's a lot easier because it's backwards. Well, it's a lot easier because everything's already in the system. I don't actually have to retype everything. It's just backwards from the application that the state puts out. Right. That makes perfect sense. Why would they make it easy? Why would, why would they ever want to make it easy? Oh, I love copy, pictures of copies. Yeah. This is the stuff you live in. Right. That irks me. That brings like blood boiling to a whole new level. Nailed it. Property requests. Now we're on to review, discussion, updates, and communications. And we dealt with 141 West Street, which we need to just simply correct because they say they have no central air. That's the dilemma there? Somebody have to go out there, Greg? Is that what you're saying? I'll do a drive-by. Otherwise, I'll go out next week. Right. Drive-by next week. They're looking... They have mini splits, though? No. We're just out of that property, actually. Okay, so you would know. There's no unit on the exterior of the building. Okay. And Are they questioning the bedroom too or no? As assessors, we really don't care what they call the rooms. Well, so I'm under the... Go ahead. I'm just thinking about how to word this. <laughs> yeah. yep. I'm under the impression that it was once a third bedroom that is now in disrepair and they are not listing it as a bedroom, so I assume they are wanting it changed because of the advice they've received. 
Which doesn't mean anything to us. Right. And for the sake of future requests like this for Michelle's. Because I used to have a... We don't care if they call it a bedroom or right, an, office an incredibly room. large right. clutter space. To my knowledge, <clears throat> from what I'm told, there used to be a sliding door in the rear of the house on that room with a staircase going down to the first floor. Exterior. That's what it was used for, I don't know. Right. As long as it's BAS, I don't care. Right, right Bill? As long as it is the square footage is BAS, I don't care what they call it as a room. I agree with you, but they don't care if it's a pen, a bedroom, or a living room. Right. Okay. So that dealt with that one, and he concurs that there's no central air on 141 West Street. Okay. Um, Fred Rule Road. Who's the owner of that one? Roberts. And what are they asking for? Um, we have it listed as a four bedroom, but there's only two bedrooms. Okay, but uh, as far as our square footage is correct. So we can... We can correct that one too. We can correct that one. Okay. Correct two bedrooms. Board that cares about the number of bedrooms, so that, to the best of my knowledge, the board of health. Right. Are we changing that card on federal? Yes. Two? Two bedrooms. Good. So are okay. we changing West Street, too? If you want to. I don't think I'm just... you want to ask. change those to two bedrooms? I'll, I'll change it. I mean, I just personally think there's more value to a three-bedroom than a two-bedroom. I would think so. I guess you can offer it to them. <laughs> <clears throat> Granby Districts. I have a bullet here for Granby Districts, too. Yeah, I don't know... I was hoping that you guys can explain that to me and how it works because I don't know anything about it. Okay. D does the assessors have anything to do with that or is it just a town collector? You're talking about the fire districts? Um, yeah. Voting districts? I think, it's, <laughs> I think it's just the sewer, actually. Do they call South it? Hadley Fire District, Bills, Amherst Road, Amherst Road, Road, and some some of those side streets in their fire district, and we're responsible for collecting those fees and then turning them over to South Hadley. Are, but do the assessors state which houses or? Yes. We that was years ago. They did that. There's, there's an ongoing list. Who keeps that list? It starts with the assessors, but the tax collector works off of our list. Should they be notated Are on we, the card, though, on the property Yeah, card? there's got to be in the tax bills. <clears throat> How'd this come up? Our new software, we're trying to determine which houses are in that. We've District got a, two. I know we've got a list here, which yeah, houses are in. Do you think any so. have been added? No. Uh, unless there's, well, all those condos will be added pretty soon. Are they Are they in South Hadley, though? That side of the street that's not the South Fire District. Right. Well, that side of the street, South Hadley, doesn't matter. Right. All Missy condos? would probably have an updated, this is my guess, she'd have an updated list if we don't have one. Okay. I don't know why we wouldn't have a list. I just um, there might be a question because there's some new construction down there on the South Hadley side, and that's not in Granby, so we don't have anything to do with that. I mean, on the there's one house, there's one building lot over there on our side. It's like a six-acre lot next to that. The fact that you know that. 
that skyscraper next to that big green house we went to go visit a couple years ago. Yep. Right next to that that was part of uh It's a six acre lot. Yeah, that was part of uh who owned the dinosaur tracks? Yes. Nash. 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 So he left those? <clears throat> Sold it. Who did he sell it to? He was trying to sell it to a butters. No. Oh, okay. Okay, so I can... So these were outside of the other... You signed this, but you didn't sign the actual okay. applications. Okay, we're backing up a little bit. Two more motor vehicle. signing this, let me follow up my answer on the South Hadley Fire Districts. I'm sure we have a folder with all of the property in the South Hadley Fire District. Okay. Well, my thought is if we I have that, if we find that information, should we be notating that on the property cards? If it isn't already there? I would think if it would you go under, I would think it will be. If you pull up there. a property and go under building notes, is it there? I mean, I wouldn't see why we wouldn't put it there. Good note that there's 18 of these. Of course I did. Sam, are you catching that we're doing 18 of these? Mm -hmm. This is are you gonna again count to make sure they're 18. So? Again, the exciting stuff. <clears throat> you could be out freezing doing your cross game. <laughs> Talk about some bipolar weather today. Yep. What are we supposed to do with this? Michelle, what is what's going on here? It's, that's the application, so you can just sign it. <laughs> Do this one first because you handed it to me and signed it. I was looking to slip that by you. How'd that work? Why do we have a picture of a motor vehicle excise application? Because they are not in the state, so... You know what I normally do when I get those? I'd request a PDF copy. Yeah. I would want to sign an actual... <clears throat> yeah, I've done it many times. Because I won't sign that. Yeah. You guys are nuts. Yeah. I Both have of these time chasing these people down. Well, if they want their excise... Well, it's not a legal document. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not. Document. How often do you get sent something like this? This is the first time I've seen something It's usually like this. the people that are out of state. Not yeah. very. They don't care. Yeah. Oops. Well, unfortunately, I have to kick that back to you, Michelle. Okie dokie. scan the PDF form. They have apps for that now. Yeah. <laughs> You're missing out on some real good fun, Bill. So 
is this affidavit? More motor vehicle. <clears throat> 18 more motor vehicle excise. Is this affidavit in lieu of a bill of sale if they don't have one? Yes. Stating that they no longer have the vehicle because they signed the um, odometer statement. They claim that there are 4,000 people moving into Florida every month. They're building rapidly down there. Yikes. And they're getting premium. 4,000 a month. Yikes. Yeah. On property that's one foot over sea level. No, thank you. Well, look at that big washout they had. Yeah, there was 12 there. inches of water. That's crazy. You better have your kayak ready here. Blow up raft. Yep. Another new car. Jeez, paying this guy too much. Excise taxes. Okay, um, we'll keep on the agenda, the fire districts, okay. to make sure you're up to date. Okay. Um, DLS preliminary ch cherry sheets. This just came out. Huh? I sold the house. One, twin, 134 Aldridge Street. For a fair price. Market value of dictates the <laughs> price. Uh, Whatever someone will to pay. Actually, I think they came from Pennsylvania. Seriously? Yeah. Dear I ask how much? Continue. <laughs> Alright. Um, Might I add, the market here is much better than the market there. I hope so. So we're the only ones getting raped, is what you tell. <laughs> That's on camera, too. Okay. Put that on the um, file. Note that, will you? <clears throat> and this, this is for the sake of our budgeting, um, but that's going to change for fiscal year 24. Um, I think we're going to need a copy uh, of this for all of the board members, particularly to the new chair. Uh, we'll do whatever we can with him. Received. Budget. How are we doing under budget? Um, Anything alarming? Shouldn't be. No. But we're getting up near okay. that time. I figured we'll go back over this when Bill's in the office so he can see. Okay. Do you need to see any of this? Do you want a copy of this? Sure. Can you have three copies of this also? Right now, or do you want it? No. Okay. Before we leave. There's a question here. Is there a discount if you live next to a farm? No, there's a premium. Everybody wants to live next to a farm. Even Sam wants to live next to farm. Sam, where do you live? On a farm. <laughs> See? So do you want a discount because you live on a farm versus next to a farm? That'd be nice. <laughs> do you think you should get a discount because you live at a farm? I feel no. like I'm out of my desk. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> or do you leave the barn door open? 
try not to. <laughs> the classic answer is you never pay enough for good government. Repeat it after me. You never pay enough for good government. See, I got it. <laughs> Nailed it. Okay. The question is no. Okay. Is the taxpayer asking that? Yep. Should the next one be in executive session or in open? Uh, the next one's going to be in executive session. Okay. <clears throat> oh. Talk to us about Roy. How's Roy doing? He came back from Florida. Yes, and now he's Were not. we his first stop? No, he was going through and he All right, I'm you. insulted. And he just showed up. Yeah. And what did he want? To see how things were. And what did you tell him? Then he wanted a copy of our LA-3 so he can start doing what he needed to do on his end. Okay. And he asked where our assessors were on valuing property as of the first. And I said, you guys haven't gone out. And he was like, can you please get them out? Valuing what property? What? The new houses that should have been in the system for January 1st of 2023. How many properties do we need to have in the new system? Honestly, I'm not sure. Right. Because <laughs> I don't haven't, have that much construction. I haven't been through it. Right. I've been just putting all he of can them tell in me, there. Tell me how much new construction we've got. Here we go. Are you a full time realtor or not? Right now, I'm an assessor. Good answer. <laughs> right. Roy seems to be, or he's, he can't be under the impression that we're lagging too far behind. Uh, we have properties that need, to, that need to be put into the system, and I don't know how many pieces of property... I'm sure we can count them on both hands. ...need to be put into the system. Or finished. Or finished. So Roy's question was, are these properties done? Is that correct? How, how far are we along with putting in new growth for this year? And, I and he's said, asking this in April. And I said, we haven't started. Yeah. And he's like, we got to get on it. Yeah, so like we've we got nothing else going on, so Roy. we don't end up with this file, which we'll talk about when executive session comes along. Right. Okay. Uh, but that was his only concern, new growth? Um, he says that houses should be valued 20% above assessed value of last year. He's insane. Did you hear that, Bill? Because that's approximately what it was, the market. Roy Bishop says that we are looking at valuing properties at 20% more than they were last year. That's for this year, not this coming year. That's right, the actual number values. is 16%. Yeah, so he said approximately 20%. All right, the actual number is 16. I think ours was 17. Right, at least, at least we're in a ballpark. Yeah. Well, ask Greg who does it. Who does this to everyone? Go ahead, Greg. It's because we're getting a new chair. I know. That's the only reason the property value is going up so high. Yeah. So I've been taking this hit for 27 years. No, I don't care. I know you don't. <laughs> it doesn't phase me. Okay, um, what else? That was it. Okay, he wants us to do our homework, is what he's saying. Yeah. Like we've got nothing else and to do. And he has a two notes. Did you read those? Those are the ones we just talked about. We never yeah. talked about Fairy Hill. Oh, well, that's, we kind of, on the back end, we were. Right. I actually so he wants us to completely agree that. with him. But we've accepted it, so we'd have to rescind our vote. No, we did change it. Denied. Oh, uh, well, wait a minute. No, I take we changed back. it to 32, their benefit. 32 Ferry Hill Road, um, we changed because the actual footprint and description was incorrect. Right, we fixed Bill went it. out there for an hour and a half yeah. and corrected to whatever new value. But he's is. saying this should be denied because it's a luxury property. Right, it's a unique property. It's unique. Uh, at, um, Roy made the statement that we have... It's still luxury, though. Roy made the statement that we have no luxury property in our town. But he said, As that he is not agree. black and white, that it's gray, and there can be those one-offs. 
see he's hedging Which his bet. Which this is that one off. Right. And he's hedging his advice. Right? Because at the last meeting, we went with his advice saying that there's no luxury problem. Can you hear us, Bill? Can you hear me? Bill? Yes. Um, Roy came in to visit last week. Put him on the table. <laughs> That's at the last meeting. That's what we received from Roy. Now he's hedging his bet on luxury property as concerns 32 Ferry Hill Road. All right. I'm not, you're not coming through totally clear. Yeah. I'm not talking about luxury property on 32 Ferry Hill Road. Right. At the last meeting, I think you were here. We were discussing that property, and you had gone out there and corrected the diagram. And at that time, we were told that Roy felt that there is no luxury property in Granby. Well, that, that was written on that paper we were looking at, yes. Right. Now, Roy is hedging his, himself a little bit and saying that that is a unique piece of property. Reflective of that, Michelle? Um, Does that make sense to you? Because of the fact that it's 50 years old, we were not going to call it luxury plus 10. Right, we went to luxury plus 10 to luxury. Yeah. Right. And we should be done with it. Concern there, Greg, is, and we voted on it. I think we voted on it last week. Yeah, right. That's we what did. I just said we. Did yeah. This. But the value uh, is low. Well, well yeah, because it brought it down. With, I don't remember the number. Michelle can tell you. It was like five forty. Five seventy-five. Five seventy-five. Huh? Which was low. Uh, uh, well, because it was like six something, six eighty before. How many six, square feet is it? The floor area is 4,388. That is low. 4,300 square feet. Is that what you just said? 575 is what the number came in at. Yeah, that's why I didn't think the value was that bad to begin with. Right. What they wanted was unrealistic, but it was we came pretty close to what they wanted. <clears throat> we did vote. Almost 4,400 square feet. Yeah. That's a ridiculous amount of square feet. Yeah. So if we keep it at grade 10, which is luxuries plus 10, and we have it as good, with all the other changes, it puts it to um, six. a better right. figure. 627, 200. What was the original amount? What were they asking for? They wanted to go to what they, they bought it for. Yeah, they wanted yeah. purchase price in 19. Yeah. Yeah, no. And when we made all the changes, it made it go up. <coughs> Step up to use the facilities. Okay, I, I, the, I thought that I was low. Meeting. Do you? Yeah. Okay, Chair, sure. good for you. So we um, can talk about this when Bill's back, so he can see. Okay. It. I think that well, the thing is, is that have the letters been sent already for these properties? Not this one. Okay. All right. Excuse so, me. I think we'll finalize it at our next meeting and send it out. I think that's a good idea. So, we'll table that till next meeting. Sam, when do you want to hold our next meeting? Whenever works for me. 
Thanks for I'm you. giving you way too much power. May 1st? Works for me. Bill, does May 1st work for you? To the best of my knowledge, yes. May 1st and the 15th. At 6 o'clock. Got it. I think we're going to sign off on the new value that you just produced for 32 Fairy Hill Road. Okay. All right. Um, do you have anything else outstanding for? Abatement? Yes. Bachelor Street and... Bachelor Street, I think we're done with. Um, Bill's kind of going to look at it. Bill, did you want to look at Bachelor Street? Yeah, abatement's really around an executive session. All right. Is there any other business for a regular session, Michelle? Nope. Damn, I, I want to keep Sam out of here much. We don't get to see much of Sam. He's here all the time. All right, our regular, how do you know? You're not here all the time. That's oh. a shot across the bow. Oh. No, that hurt. Oh. It didn't hurt you, did it? You all right, regular session is adjourned at 642.